What's up, guys? It's November to remember, day 26. Ta-da! Here we are. Only four days left. Oops, I dropped half of everything in my room. That's okay. Um, let's see. Chloe! Hello there! How are you? Chloe? Chloe, Chloe. Oh, that cat, I tell is you. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, only four days left. If you don't include today, which is going to be some chaotic four days. <laughs> for me, anyway. It's going to be very busy and going to be working a lot. Would you move your bump? Thank you. All right, so today I had my presentation. It went fairly well, I think. Um, there was, there was a feature that my teacher came up to me and said, that was really cool. I'm glad you showed that. No one's ever done that before. So it was good that we showed that feature, which I'm excited about. Um, hopefully I'll get a good grade on it. Agrippa's out. He's moving around. I don't know what he's up to. What are you up to, Agrippa? I need to clean out his tank. I haven't cleaned it out in a long time. It's really gross in there, but I haven't had time. Probably should do it tonight. Let's see. What time is it? It is... It's about 8.30, which I'm doing it a little er my vlog a little early, and then I'm going to exercise. And then I planned on working on programs, but maybe I should clean this tank out. We'll see. No more math homework for the whole semester, but there's some there's a practice test that I'll get on Tuesday. Then we take a test on Thursday. Then we review for the final, and then the final is going to be on the 17th of December. Then my last final is C++, which is on December 19th. Holy moly. Those are the latest um, finals I've ever had. So, kind of stinks that they're that late. Generally, I don't have, besides math, I don't have any finals during finals week. But this time I have two. Uh, my Linux final will be done December 13th or December 12th. Uh, so that'll be taken care of. And then uh, English, I have a have a um, final project due on the 13th. Because that one's not a big deal. But I have another one in English. Ooh, I need to do that tonight. I have a discussion due. A couple more discussions due by December 1st. Okay. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. All right, so today... I've said all right, so today like five times in this vlog. You can like count if you want. Uh... Hebrews 2.6 was my blessing from my Bible. Hebrews 2.6. This has always been one of my favorite verses. I actually have a t-shirt with this verse on it, but I think it's from a different passage. I think it's in Psalm as well. Hebrews 2.6. But one in a certain place testified, saying, you Move your rear end. What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visitest him. So. She, she's looking at the window. Or the door like. Dusty was coming or something. So that was a blessing to me because. What is man that thou art mindful of him? And my, you think of the word mindful. Kind of implies that his mind is full. Of thoughts of us. Which is. Outrageous when you think about it. Inconceivable. I don't think you keep saying that word. Yeah, okay. But it really is. I used that word inconceivable in a sermon one time. And one of the ladies in the church came up to me and said, I had to hold back laughter. Because Princess Bride, if you've seen that. Anyway, that was my blessing. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? Just an interesting verse. You know, th there's really no answer there. But really, we're nothing. Without him, without God, we're nothing. So that that's kind of the implied answer, I would say. But we are his creation, and he still loves us. So that's another inconceivable thing to think about. That's actually what I was talking about when I used the word inconceivable in a sermon. It was the love of God. <laughs> it was funny. Anyway. What I was thankful for today is that I was able to get through the presentation. Everything went well. We didn't really have any technical difficulties. The other two 
teams actually had some technical difficulties. So, I mean, I wasn't glad that they had technical difficulties, but I was glad that ours went pretty smooth. Um, I don't know, maybe we didn't say as much as I'd like. It wasn't a wow kind of presentation. Like, the last one to me was like, whoa, that is so cool. Like, the desktop of, of Ubuntu is, that's what it's called, Ubuntu. It's an African word, I guess. But anyway, the desktop, you it's like a cube. You can take the cube and, and like, flip it. And when you're flipping it, it's like different workspaces and stuff. It's really cool. But that wasn't ours. Oh, well. Ours is meant to be user friendly and and you know, and cool like that. Oh, uh, what else? Today's verse, First Timothy. No, no, not First Timothy. Hebrews three fifteen. No, not three fifteen. Five thirteen. No. Hebrews. I know you're yelling it at the screen, Adam. Thanks, but that's not helping me. Um. Am I going to have to look it up? I know the verse. I just don't know the reference. You know, that's probably my most difficult part in memorizing a verse is the reference. Why? I don't know. I think that was one of the things that dropped in half of my room. 13.5. Goodness gracious. Hebrews 13.5. The only one that gets mad when they read a Bible reference. I wasn't mad. I was just like, you know. Okay, so let's see. It's let your cover... Covertus, covertus, let let your covertus, let your conversation be without covetousness, covetousness. Yes, and be content with such as. Wow, I cannot talk. Unbelievable. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such, with such things as ye have, for I have said, for he hath said, I shall. He shall never leave thee nor forsake thee. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. I said it yesterday too. That's today's and yesterday's, right? 25th and 26th. Yes. So day 27. Two more verses, guys. First Chronicles 16, 8. Dude, I just dropped my book. First Chronicles. I didn't know we had one in First Chronicles. It's in here somewhere. I promise. Hold. Come on. First and check a Samuel. First and check and Kings. First and check and Chronicles. Okay. What did I say? Six eighteen. Oh my goodness! I cannot get there. I I promise you, I'm getting there. Six eighteen. I read that wrong, apparently. 16.8. You want to hear 6.18? 6.18 is, And the sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, and Hebron, and Uziel. If you want to memorize that one, you have fun with that, okay? Get back to me. Let me know how that goes. Get off of my paper! Stupid cat. I love my kitty. 16.8. Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. And then the last verse is 1634. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Cool. Good verses. Uh, what else? Did I say everything that's going on? I think so. Got two tracks out today. So I cut up on that. I don't think there's really anything else. <gasps> Nine minutes. Holy cow. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, Say hi to Agrippa. Hi, Agrippa. How's it going, Agrippa? All right. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.